Okay, uh, up, up, down, left, right, down, A, B, A, select, alt, F4. Aw, oh, man, <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, well. Who needs 30 lives anyways? Run and gun noobs, that's who. Any self-respecting veteran of the Alien Wars has this game memorized and shouldn't need that kid stuff. Red Falcon, you're going down. Let's play some Contra. Alright, you'll have to excuse my enthusiasm a bit. Something about this game just gets my blood pumping and biceps bulging. Consider yourself lucky I didn't record any audio of myself during my gameplay, as there was a lot of yelling and grunting and quoting old Schwarzenegger movies. And you're even luckier I didn't get any video, since at one point during the hangar stage, I got so amped my shirt actually exploded, and then I put out my cigar on my chest when I lost the spread shot. But anyways, Contra is as definitive as you can get when it comes to old school shoot 'em up games. So you can play this alone or with a friend as super soldiers Bill Riser and Lance Bean, two badass dudes with unlimited ammo and the ability to do crazy somersault flips all over the place, all the while destroying everything in their path. You'll acquire gun power-ups throughout the levels as well, like machine guns, lasers, and the always devastating spread shot. But the big challenge of Contra is that there's plenty of enemies running around, tons of bullets flying at you, and one hit and you're dead. Contra, also known as Grizor in Europe, was released in arcades in 1987, not long after the Iran-Contra affair was made public, and it was ported to the NES in 1988. And it's pretty faithful, aside from the different graphics and sound due to the limitations of the console, and the 3D base levels were a bit more complex than the original, as you actually had to turn and navigate through the rooms and use a mini-map. But Konami did a stellar job of bringing this onto the Nintendo, with some amazing graphics for its time, improved controls, and a very memorable soundtrack. Hardcore Contra fans might also like to check out the Japanese port for the Famicom, as it utilized an additional chip for some enhanced in-game animations, and even included an intro sequence explaining the story a bit more. And yet another interesting regional difference is found in the European NES release, known as Probotector. Due to some laws in Germany at the time regarding violent video games, the main characters are switched out for some pretty badass cyborgs, but luckily the carnage-fueled gameplay was left intact. And that satisfying gameplay is what truly makes this a run-and-gun masterpiece. Backed up with quality level design and rich atmospheres, heavily inspired from sci-fi classics like Alien or Predator, Contra set the bar for this genre and arguably still stands strong at the top of a mountain of alien corpses. One of its only downsides might be its learning curve, as new players will die a lot, but luckily there's the classic 30 live Konami code to help them out, and the two player cooperative mode allows for stealing lives from each other. But personally, that learning curve changed my video game life when I played this for the first time. And today Contra still holds a special place in my heart as one of my favorite action games of all time. If you've managed to go through your life without playing this, you're definitely missing out on an important piece of video game history.